Good morning. I will show you how to run the model vein. If you know the R, uh, you just can follow the directions and the manual, read the manual, please, and then you can do it. But if you don't know R and you know Excel, this is your option. First, you load the library vein, get sure in which working directory we are, and then we will create, we will download the template. And uh, here we can use any name, for instance, let's, let's use city. Awesome city, okay? Awesome city. Then it will start downloading the template and it will create a directory in our home. So our directory is in Awesome City. Let's check this out. Oh, now we are in home and we have the work in this awesome city and we open the project. Do you want to open the project? Yes. Let's open the project. Now that we are in the project, uh, we will have several options in several files. You will see this structure. Eighteen files. And we have the directory config, network, scripts, and work. And inside config, you have several files, but the most important file is the inventory point Excel. Let's open this project. Let's go to Awesome City, config, and let's open this. This is first, this is the, the best thing, the, um, uh, this is the most important thing. You just need to open the, the directory. The inventory file, which is just an Excel file, very easy to use for most of people. Here, the most important sheet is the metadata. In me metadata, you have to, you know, the family, which is the passenger cars, like commercial vehicles, trucks, bus, and motorcycles I will make a little bit bigger and then you have the vehicles which is the basis for the vehicle composition passenger cars with gasoline passenger cars with ethanol passenger cars flex with gasoline passenger cars flex with ethanol and so on these names are absolutely arbitrary you can use any name you want however you just if you if you use your name you have to stick to it to the end on the estimation here we have a example for brazilian case but i will add for chinese and european cases as well with top down and bottom up approaches as we see the vehicles have this structure these are the vehicular composition and the fleet age sheet we must add a column name year with the current year or the base year in this case 2018 and with the last year this which is the oldest vehicle on circulation here we see that there are 9,000 9,407 vehicles on circulation created made on year 1979 however most of vehicles are new let's check out this okay now we have the passenger cars with ethanol flex and so on the key thing key thing is that the these names are exactly these names okay okay temporal factors the same thing each Type of vehicle can has a different temporal factor. If you don't know what is temporal factor, read the documentation. Then you have the mileage. What is the average kilometers driven per year? Uh, as, if, as you, if you see, this name is not constant because all their vehicles are on average are used less, have less use, hence. Uh, the distance driven is lower and these numbers are based on um, st 
study in, in Brazil. However, you can use this the same the any any data that you have. Important thing, stick with your vehicle type. And then you will have the fuel. Also for Brazilian case, but we can use any specific but if this is a specific okay if you have their fuel you can just your add your type of fuel diesel is an gasoline density in tons per cubic meters and then consumption in liters and that's it this is the most important thing that you have to know and uh, you don't have to export to any other format just excel okay this is convenient uh, yes Now we are back in our directory, main in, in a working directory, awesome city. And this is the function, this is the script that we need. Main.r. We I'm using in this case I'm using several messages for Portuguese, but I will show I will translate this and I will create more templates in English. And I will try into Chinese, why not? We love the recovery libraries, vein, SF for special pictures with bidding for Geos, Gedal, and Proch. Separate city, lots of colors. ggplot 2 export, and that table. My favorite libraries are that table and SF, special features. And then we have the path to our Excel file. And these are the old sheets, metadata, fleet, TFS, mileage, and fuel. Uh, here I use if you do, maybe it's a little bit fast, but here I'm using the package read Excel. Read Excel is for guess what? Reading Excel files. Yes. Let's move on. We read uh, metadata. Now we have the metadata file. Mileage, uh, temporal factors, vehicles, fuel, the year, and we the colors. Why we need the colors? Because now we're going to run the script config. How do we run? We, you can go and click and run, and you run it, or you can use control and enter. Do you want to exclude, delete the Directories, yes, let's delete anything and then we're creating new directories as you see here automatically. Now we wrote this is another file that you need the geo package file net, the net geo package. Geo package is a new format similar to shapefile, but shapefile reached its end of life. So, this is the new recommendation you read it, you run. And then we are uh, in each script in config and also in the scripts, we are actually creating figures. If you've seen images, you will see lots of figures. How far? Then we run the traffic. We are creating more figures, as you see, for instance, this beautiful figure. And now we have the data, activity data to start the estimations and here we are doing the uh, here we are doing the calibration between the fuel sales and the fuel estimation both must match with a value of one so it's good enough now we estimate the emission for exhaust emissions we are showing here the emission factors it plots the emission factors it's good. Once it's done, we will create the. Uh, we will run the um, evaporative emissions. We're almost there. We're in motorcycles now. Flex with gasoline and flex with ethanol. And that's it. Now evaporative emissions. And now we'll start the estimation of fugitive emissions, dust emissions from resuspension using the EPA 
methodology. Once we've done it, we go with, with the post estimation, we select the pollutants that we want to aggregate and create the mean in plots and figures, nice. And also this really important function, work grid from export package to read the grid from our work input file. This is important because we will grid our emissions into this grid of the same size of a work input file. For what? Because what's the idea? Because we will create the, at the end we will create a, an emission file ready to use in Worf Chem. This is just for some plots. If you see more plots are, are, are being added here at the right. For instance, this part type of vehicles, hourly emissions by age of use. Nice. And lastly, we will create the Worf Chemi. Here we, we need to know number of columns and number of rows. If when you run this function, it say, oh, number of columns and number of rows. Though, so that's good. And we have lastly our plots of Worf Chemi file. Of Worf Chemi file obviously is in the file Worf and this is a ready to use files. Obviously, you will need to merge your vehicular emissions with your industrial and other source emissions, but that's fine. So, thank you for using Bane.